Hello everyone, my name is Anton Pelcher. I'm an engineer and I've been constructing fish farms for more than 10 years. Today we're going to talk about such an interesting topic as the risks of setting up your own fish farming business. Probably not all of you openly talk about it, but I decided to shoot this video to let you know what risks and problems there could be on the way of fish farm organizing and how to solve and assess them. If you are the man who fears to open your own business, hit thumbs up button, stock up on popcorn and let's analyze together all the main risks that are associated with RAS business. Well, we'll start with the most obvious topic, with the fish death risk. What if all your fishes die? May that happen? The answer is, it may happen. How and why? Fishes at a high stocking density in RAS. If all main equipment vital for fish turns off. Circulation and oxygenation stops operating due to some error. This leads to fish death. It's one of the main risks, but it's not difficult to avoid it. How? You just have to provide for backup units. What are they? These are all the pumps that circulate water. Low is operating inside a biofilter. This is an oxygen source and an electric power generator. That is, if you provide for backup units, then the risk of the system emergency default associated with an error in operation of some vitally significant unit is reduced to almost zero. Diseases. Fish is also a living organism. It's very unlikely, but it's possible that fish can get sick and die further. Since we're talking about RAS, we have excellent opportunities to minimize these risks, which are not available at open fish farms. Which opportunities exactly? Firstly, high quality stock material supply. It's obvious that buying healthy fry results in getting healthy, grow out fish. Secondly, permanent water disinfection. Water is usually supplied from an underground source. There is no water contact with the environment, and in RAS, water is constantly disinfected with ultraviolet, erosion, or both. And the last, bathrobes, replacement shoes, antiseptics, and the rest to provide sanitary safety measures at a RAS farm. That is, if you have high-quality stocking material, high-quality and disinfected water, RAS has no contact with the environment, and sanitary safety measures are provided, that means that you comply with all measures we listed, and the risk of fish disease will be minimized or reduced to zero. Next risk is very important, and this is I'm not able to sell my fish. That is, I'll get grow out fish, and who will I sell it? Sure, it may be a real risk, and let's figure out why it may be. There can be the high risk probability if you choose not demanded fish species for farming, or you choose an incorrect farm location, or you have not been engaged in sales before. To minimize this risk, it's enough to avoid all the following factors. Firstly, you have to choose the demanded type of fish the marginal one as well as correct farm capacity. It's not recommended to farm some fish species exotic in your region that have no chance to be sold. Before to start, it would be better analyze the market. Make sure if the type of fish you are going to grow is sold in your region. Check the price and make sure it's real to sell all the grow out fish within your region area. It seems obvious, but actually not everybody follows their steps. Secondly, sell the fish and in that particular way your future customers really spy for. That means, if people want smoked fish, it's not recommended to try to sell live fish thinking that it will have high demand. Third, think of marketing. Marketing has own technologies that should be used to sell your grow out fish profitably. So, study the market yourself or just hire a proficient specialist. And the last, Think of selling at the fry stage. In ideal, do it in advance. Raw materials risks. Food is supplied extruded. There are a number of Russian and European producers that manufacture feed suitable for the types of fish farmed in RAS. Probably there are no risks related to feed. Why? Because even during lockdown, sanctions, coronavirus, there have never been interruptions in the supply of feed. 
because everyone understands that feed is vital for all fish companies, so I would not consider it as one of real risks. I can also say about juveniles. In Russia, as in many CIS countries, there are a number of juveniles producers and you can always buy this stocking material. If you are not able to buy it, you can install your own incubator or keep your brood stock or buy fertilized eggs from anywhere in the world and deliver by plane. Fry risks. It may happen so that your farm is located somewhere in a remote region and you have no stocking material suppliers nearby. If you consider populated regions for starting your business, there are other fish farms already placed and either they can offer you high-quality juveniles and be your suppliers, or you can install incubator and produce their own stocking material buying fertilized eggs and delivering by plane from other companies. Also, you can keep your own breadstock. Stuff. Will you be able to find staff to work at your farm? Let's figure this out first. Who do you need? In case of a small fish farm, the chief biologist is needed as minimum, as well as several operators. For a large-scale farm, you have to hire a deputy biologist or even several biologists. The chief biologist is a highly qualified person and usually from another region if your farm is really large. Other staff can be hired from local people, they can work as operators. In case of small farm, you may take a position of the chief biologist yourself or teach somebody half qualified to this position. So the main employee at the farm is the biologist. The biologist is supposed to be from another region and local staff working as operators is taught from zero. It's enough to hire non-qualified staff and to teach them the most necessary skills to operate and control a RAS farm. For a large-scale farm, it will be probably needed organizing of some shift accommodation for several qualified employees, though the process is a little bit difficult. The main RAS farm pros are that you don't need to hire much staff. It's enough to hire several persons to operate RAS. Permissions problems It's a very important topic and we will look into it in detail. Let's figure out what problems can occur with permissions, agreements, how bureaucracy can affect your farm. At first, building permission for us. It may be so that you try to place your farm in an inappropriate place, you won't be able to get the building permission. Yes, it's possible, and it's the fact that any farm of more than one and a half thousand square meters requires going through the expertise. You must not forget it as well. It's also a stage of the bureaucratic chain in my country. So, you will get the building permission based on the design in case you choose the right side. And what is the right side? It's agricultural land or industrial area with the correct type of permitted use. So, you will have no problems with getting all approvals and building permissions. The second is getting grow-out fish selling permission. In principle, in case of live grow-out fish selling, you should just have veterinary health certificate without expertise of the Federal Service for Surveillance on Consumer Rights Protection and Human Wellbeing. This certificate lets you sell the live grow-out fish as agricultural product. And finally, the third stage – getting the permission from the Federal Service for Surveillance on Consumer Rights Protection and Human Wellbeing if you have no processing. In principle, this last permission is just optional. How can an entrepreneur minimize or reduce the risk of not getting all these documents if processing is presumed? Just act in accordance with the law, to the side with the right purpose, don't do anything in a rush, and the risk of not getting the building permission will be reduced to zero. Also, there is a risk of different examinations, inspections and fines. In principle, if everything is in accordance with the law, your RAS farm will not be examined. Thanks God no one of our clients had critical problems with examinations and inspections. If you had such experience, make sure to describe it in the comments. Let's figure out business relevance risk. What will your business be in several years? Let's assess demographic perspective. Population increases. 
the number of fish in the oceans drops down, and today aquaculture accounts for half of all consumed fish, and this figure is only growing. So, in general, I personally look at this industry positively. Therefore, I'm here to say to you that aquaculture will only develop and expand, taking into account that fish is at what people eat. The risk of business not to be relevant and profitable is minimal. There is a risk of market price dropping down. Today, there is no tendency of fish cost reducing. Seasonal drawdown definitely takes place. For example, in winter farms in one region start selling grow-out fish massively, and it leads to approximately 20-30% price drawdown. When the fish is over, open farms stop their operation until suitable season, but a rest farm keep on working all year round. Because of this, the price drawdown risk is minimized. Sturgeon keva is stocked to be supplied a lot from China, and grower fish the same. Taking into account all Chinese products, price for sturgeon only increase. Yes, sturgeon keva price really dropped down, but it would not continue to decrease further. Probably it's because the Chinese have their own prime cost, logistics. Now prices are settled and even are likely to be increased. Now I'm going to consider the risk of expectations versus reality. Any business has some expectations when you think, predict more bright future, but reality turns out to be completely different. Thus, reality is worse than expectations, and it's a serious risk. What should you do? Before starting your RAS business, I recommend you to consider its structure, expenses, revenue, etc. If you don't want to figure it out by yourself, just hire a consultant. The consultant is important to be trusted. I recommend you to figure it out with all details before setting up business. So, today we considered main risks you can encounter when starting your RAS fish farming business. I decided to cover this topic because I know how to minimize risks, and therefore I shared my knowledge with you. If I forgot something, write it in the comments. I'm ready to discuss any questions. If you liked this video, hit thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. It's Anton Pelcher and my channel on how to grow fish and earn good money from it. Bye!